The example of a living autopsy that we've recorded for you to watch is as plain and simple as I can make it. It lasts about an hour. But actually the majority of the ones that I've held have been longer than that and they've been focused on a particular theme. So as well as watching the main video, you need to think about why you're holding the autopsy, who your audience is and where you're holding it. So the three main areas to think about theming. The first is around the event. Is it a festival that's celebrating a particular thing? Is it an awareness week? I did one for Gravity Fields, which is a science festival based on the life of Sir Isaac Newton. I had some trouble coming up with a link, but in the end I went for death of an astronaut because I thought of Newton and gravity and what would happen to the body if they were living uh, in zero gravity. And in fact it worked extremely well and I talked about everything that you would find in an astronaut who'd perhaps spent a couple of years uh, in the International Space Station. So you can think imaginatively and try and find different ways of linking with the theme of whatever it is that you're, that you're attending. Alternatively, you can theme your event to the venue. It may be that you're in a particularly atmospheric venue. I've done many autopsies in the old operating theatre in London, which is a fantastic gaslit, tiered uh, lecture theatre. And there it works particularly well, for example, talking about um, deaths following surgery in the pre-anaesthetic and pre-antisepsis age, because it used to be an old operating theatre. Or oh, the final option for theming is for your audience. What do your audience actually want to find out about? So I've done several of these events in schools and as a general theme I've picked healthy living. So try not to be too judgmental and preaching. I've done an autopsy on somebody and discussed what you might find in somebody who smoked, had an un unhealthy diet and was obese, or drank a lot of alcohol, for example. And it's a really good way of getting messages across um, about how to live a healthy lifestyle and the effect that those poor lifestyle choices might have on the body. So as well as having a theme, I often introduce different props once did an event at the Royal Institution called Heart Attack and it was investigating the cause of a young person who'd had a heart attack. The answer turned out to be familial hypercholesterolemia. But to accompany that, we had a pig's heart that we dissected on the evening. We had a camera above it so that people could see in the audience. And then at the end, all the children in the audience came up and had a look. So if you can get hold of a pig's heart, uh, then that, that's quite popular. So any props that you might have uh, all help to add to um, the uh, demonstration that you're giving.